Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are digging this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here in this terms of topic, it's telling us to find the solution of a differential equation, which is given by dy by dx is equal to minus of x square plus 3y square. And further, we have been given 3x square plus y square. So that is the entire function given to us. We need to find the solution of this differential equation. And one more condition is given to us that tells us y of 1 is equal to 0. There are four options given to us for the solution. The first option being log of x plus y to the base e plus xy upon x plus y the whole square is equal to 0. Next option, it is given to us log of mod of x plus y to the base e again. Minus xy upon x plus y the whole square is equal to 0. Next option, it tells me log of mod of x plus y to the base e again. Plus 2xy upon x plus y the whole square is equal to 0. And the last option given to me is log of mod of x plus y to the base e <coughs> minus 2xy upon x plus y the whole square equal to 0. <coughs> so these are the four options given to us. We need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct solution of this differential equation we will do. <coughs> so first thing, <coughs> if I write that differential equation, I have this with me. Now, first thing I can do here is I can just substitute y as v into x. So if I use this substitution here, <clears throat> so substitute y equal to vx in this differential equation. So first of all, let's find what dy by dx becomes. So dy by dx in this case would become v into derivative of x, which is 1, plus x into dv by dx. So you get this v plus x into dv by dx. And so basically what we are doing is we are writing dy by dx now as v plus x into dv by dx. That is equal to minus, if I substitute here also x square plus 3, y we are putting as vx. So v square and x square upon here you are putting 3x square plus y again v and x, so v square and x square. So you get this differential equation turning out x dv by dx is equal to minus of the whole bracket minus v. So you get this bracket turning out. If I take out x square common, I get 1 plus 3 v square. And from the denominator, if I take out x square common, I get 3 plus v square. So x square and x square gets cancelled. You get x dv by dx is equal to minus, if I take out common, I am left with 1 plus 3 v square upon 3 plus v square plus v. So if I solve this further minus, you get it 1 plus 3 v square plus 3 v plus v cube upon 3 plus v square. <clears throat> now, some of you have, may have the questions as how do I get this idea? So what you are doing is you are just applying cross multiplication. So 1 plus 3 v square was as it is. v gets multiplied with this entire bracket, 3 plus v square upon 3 plus v square. So when I solve this, v into 3, you get 3v, and v into v square, you get v cube. So this is how you get it. Now, if I solve this, I get a cube plus 3ab square. Sorry, a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. And 1 is nothing but b cube. So I can write 1 as 1 cube also. 
So I can write that entire thing as x dv by dx is equal to minus common. You are left with 1 plus v the whole cube. So that becomes the expansion of a plus b the whole cube. So I'm just using the idea a plus b the whole cube was a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b. So you get this idea that it turns out to become a plus b the whole cube. And the denominator, if I write it as it is, it was 3 plus v square. Now further, if I take all the v terms on the left hand side, I get this as 3 plus v square upon 1 plus v the whole cube dv is equal to minus dx upon x. So you have this entire expression. Now I've just separated the two variables here, v and x. If I just take integrals on both sides, integrating both sides separately, after separating the variables. So we are just finding the integration of 3 plus v square upon 1 plus v the whole cube dv. That is equal to minus integral of dx upon x. So I can just find this easily minus integral of dx upon x is nothing but log of mod of x plus constant c. But let's integrate this idea. To integrate this, what I can do here is I can just make my denominator easier. So to make that easier, I can just put 1 plus v as, let's say, t. So dv becomes equal to dt here. And when you're putting 1 plus v as t from this, I get v becomes t minus v. So I get this integral turning out 3 plus t minus 1 the whole square dt. And this becomes t cube. So further, if I try to solve this idea, I get this integral turning out to 3 plus t minus 1 the whole square. You know it as t square minus 2 t plus 1 upon you have t cube here. dt is equal to minus log of mod of x plus. So you get this entire expression. Now let's try to solve this. So I get this integral turning out to become 4 upon t cube dt plus integral t square upon t cube. So 1 by t dt minus 2 integral t upon t cube, which is 1 by t square dt minus log of mod of x plus. So if I try to solve this idea, I get for integral of t raised to minus 3 dt plus 1 by t is nothing but log of mod of t. And here you get that as minus 2 times of integral t raised to minus 2 is equal to minus log of mod of x plus. <clears throat> Further, if I try to solve this, I get for integral x raised to n. <clears throat> we already know integral x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So from here I get 4 t raised to minus 2 upon minus 2 plus log of mod of t minus 2 integral of t raised to minus 2 we know it as t raised to minus 1 upon minus 1 is equal to minus log of mod of x plus. So if I resubstitute t as v I get this minus 2. <coughs> Now minus 2 once I have upon t square, minus 2 upon t square, plus log of mod of t. And further we have plus 2, 1 upon t is equal to minus log of mod of x plus. So if I resubstitute again, so you're resubstituting t as we substituted t as 1 plus v. So if I resubstitute, I get t equal to 1 plus v. So if I just do that, I get it <clears throat> minus 2 upon 1 plus v the whole square plus log of mod of 1 plus v plus 2 upon 1 plus v is equal to minus log of mod of x plus. 
if I again solve this further, I get it. I need it in terms of y and x because I don't need it in terms of v. So I substituted v as y by x here. So if I resubstitute v as y by x, let's see what my equation becomes. Or further, if I first try to solve this and this expansion, I can just take out something common from here. So my expression turns out log of mod of 1 plus v plus 2 upon 1 plus v also if I take out common. <clears throat> We are left with here you are left with nothing so one minus minus sign uh, you have taken and two upon one plus v is common so you are left with one upon one plus v is equal to minus log of mod of x plus so further if i try to solve this i get log of mod of one plus v plus two upon one plus v this becomes one plus v minus one upon one is equal to minus log of mod of x plus c. So further, if I try to solve this, I get log of mod of 1 plus v plus 2. This and this gets cancelled. So 2v upon 1 plus v, the whole square, is equal to minus log of mod of x plus c. So I get the solution of the differential equation turning out log of 1 plus v. We substituted as 1 y we substituted as vx, so v we got it as y by x. So if I just resubstitute v, I can write that as y by x plus 2 y by x upon 1 plus y by x. It's equal to minus log of mod of x plus so further, if I try to write this, I get log of this becomes x plus y upon x plus this becomes 2y by x. Here I get x plus y the whole square upon x square. So you get 1, 1, x getting cancelled. Further, you get this as plus log of mod of x is equal to a constant value c. So you get this log of a plus log of b. That makes it log of mod of a into b. So x plus y upon x into x. Plus this becomes 2xy upon x plus y. The whole square is equal to c. So you get this entire expression here. Also, if I cancel this out, I get log of mod of x plus y to the base e. So log of mod of x plus y to the base e plus 2xy upon x plus y the whole square is equal to c. So you get this c which is nothing but constant of integration. Now we have been given a condition that says y at 1 is equal to 0. That gives me at x equal to 1, y is equal to 0. So if I put x equal to 1 and y equal to 0, I get log of mod of 1 plus 0. So log of 1 plus 2 into 1 into 0, so 2 into 1 into 0 upon 1 plus 0, the whole square is equal to c. So from here, I get this c is equal to log of 1 is 0 plus 0. So that gives me constant of integration as z. So you get the solution of differential equation turning out log of mod of x plus y to the base e plus 2xy upon x plus y, the whole square is equal. So you get this entire solution of differential equation, putting c equal to 0. So if you see this matches with which option, so that matches with, I think, option number c. So c is the correct answer for the question. Log of mod of x plus y to the base c was present in all the options. We just needed to figure out the second part. Second part turns out 2xy, and that matches with option c. So c is the correct answer for the question given to us. That is the solution of differential equation asked. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. <clears throat> so first we substituted y as v into x. We got our entire differential equation turned out in terms of v and x. We got the integral of this entire expansion. For this, to make it much more easier in the denominator, I put just v1 plus v as t. So it becomes easier for us to solve the integral. Once we solve that integral, we got that solution. Once we resubstituted t as 1 plus v, we simplified it and we got it in terms of 
1 plus v something. So log of 1 plus v plus 2v upon 1 plus v square minus log of mod of x plus c. Once I got this, I can resubstitute v as y by x. So once I simplified that idea also, I get the differential equations solution simplified in terms of this. And then I just needed to find c using the condition at x equal to 1, y equal to 0. That gave me the value of c as 0 and that gave me the solution of differential equation which matches with option c. <clears throat> so c is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on differential. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, share these videos with your friends also who are involved in this preparation of questions on JW. So they can take the benefit from these questions also, which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.